Hello, and a warm welcome to our Cheatham's Composer's Lunchtime concert. It features music written by students in years 10 and 12, performed by their friends who've sent in recordings from their houses. These have been coordinated using a clip track so that the ensembles can play at the same time. We really hope you enjoy the very different pieces you'll hear today, and please do come and hear our evening concert, which will be today at half past seven, featuring amongst other things, a piece written by five of our senior composers called Beat the Curve. We do hope you enjoy today's concert. This piece is called An Evening Cocktail and it is for alto saxophone and piano. I aim to write it in a 1930s jazz style. My name is Joe Bloom in Year 12. These next two pieces originate from a set of four which served as my introduction to atonal music. Each one represents like a state of mind and the repercussions of that state of mind on their surroundings. 
Um, it features a lot of serialism and expressionism, and almost the entirety of the music um, is comprised of just seven notes, um, which you can hear stated outright in the first bar, the first movement. I hope you enjoy it.
Hi, I'm Yutin Cow. Um, this piece I wrote for clarinet in A um, was mainly created by improvisation. Um, it reflected some of my thought during this period, um, mainly this special things. Um, I've been thinking quite a lot about life circles and death um which there is one thing i want to show is that mainly about um, my piece as well like there was linked to china um there was a funeral um caught like um it's called celestro burbio um Basically, when people died, um, the bodies would be picked up and eaten by vultures, and then when they fly into the sky, um, they'll be free and with happiness. They could be like traveling in the place they can't reach in their normal life. Um, which is, in a way, thinking about death, um, it's not so deep anymore, but like, with so much more freedom to them. Um, for this kind of funeral, it's like, um, although their bodies have died, but their souls are immortal, they always like, exist in this world, um, for some way, um, in their life, they're always like le left some gifts for us, and also they're always um, reincarnate in another way. Um, yeah, thank you.
Thank you. 
SCRAM, an acronym for Safety Control Rod Axeman, is the emergency shutdown of a nuclear reactor, affected by immediately terminating the fission reaction. In 1986, activating SCRAM on a faulty nuclear power reactor was the final action that precipitated the explosion in the Chernobyl disaster. This piece uses a series of radiation measurements taken from the disaster zone to generate pictures in the marimba part. This is combined with pre-recorded material, live electronic processing and video footage, revealing the deserted ghost town that has been left behind. These elements are also accompanied by recordings of panicked phone calls in the minutes following the disaster between local firefighters and staff at the power plant. An explosion on the roof of the main building between the third and fourth reactors, you can hear them shout in Ukrainian. Haunting sonorities in the marimba part reflect the desolation of the site today, as well as more hurried sections and electronic effects reflecting some of the panic that civilians and workers must have faced. Radioactive decay, half-life and nuclear fallout are also represented more literally in the music through contracting phrases and electronic delay effects. The piece closes with a chorale-like passage, again using pictures derived from radioactive measurements, a hymn to the many killed and injured in this tragic disaster. This piece also seems particularly relevant given the worrying recent forest fires very close to the site and also as an example of how humans and nature have overcome such a difficult period, such as we are facing currently. I hope you enjoy.
Thank you.